students today we will learn about the hamiltonian closure of a graph so let this be a graph g and we want to calculate its hamiltonian closure h then we add some edges between the vertices of g as follows if the degree of a vertex u plus degree of a vertex v in the current graph is greater than or equal to n where n is the total number of vertices in the graph then we add an edge between the vertices u and v in the graph so this edge is added this is the freshly added edge and so on we continue till we can add more edges to this graph so proceeding in this way we obtain the hamiltonian closure edge for this graph and now we would like to prove that the hamiltonian closure obtained in this way is well defined that is it does not matter in which order you uh, add the edges to the graph g you will obtain the same gra hamiltonian graph or hamiltonian closure h so um, what i mean is suppose this plus this degree is greater than n greater than or equal to n so i can add this edge but at the same step suppose this plus this degree is also greater than or equal to n so i can add this edge also first so it's my choice i can add any of these edges at first and i will get the same hamiltonian closure so this thing we want to prove okay <clears throat> so let us say uh, in one of the method we add the edges in this sequence first we add the edge a1 then a2 up till up till up till so on an and the other sequence we add b1 b2 up till bm so these are uh, in the first uh, way i choose a1 to be the edge which is to be added first and in my second way i choose b1 to be the edge which is to be added first so these are two of my choice choices of the sequences and now we, i want to prove that the final graph obtained by both the choices will be same okay so if i am adding the edge a1 to my graph what does it mean i am adding the edge a1 between two vertices u and v it means that the degree the sum of degree of u and v is greater than or equal to n that's why i am adding a1 so let's consider the another choice of sequence so in this choice after i have added some of the edges at some point i must add the same edge between u and v why because the degree in the beginning is greater than or equal to n after adding some edges i am just increasing the degree i can never decrease the degree so the sum of degrees is still greater than or equal to n maybe more greater than the previous okay so i must add this edge u comma v at some later point okay okay so now after i have added a1 a2 up till uh, ai have been added uh, in my choice number g2 this one then i must add ai so if i have already added a1 a2 a3 up till ai minus 1 then this is the time that i must add ai sooner or later 
I am just talking about my next choice. So what I am talking is, I have added A1, I have added A2, A3, these all edges I have added. And then I was adding AI in my first choice. Okay. So <clears throat> either the graphs initial state prompts me to add AI or adding these edges increased the degrees in such a way that I can add AI now. So it's either of the two things. So after I have added all these, I am eligible to add AI. So in this sequence, no matter how in which order I add the edges, but after I have added all these edges, I am eligible to add this one. So this is the inductive thing. Okay. So base thing is I must add A1 and the inductive thing is if I have added A1, A2, A3 up till AI minus 1 then I am eligible to add AI and will add AI sooner or later in my second choice of sequences. So okay so first this thing inductive things leads to I will add A1. Since I add A1, I will add A2 also. Since I add A1 and A2, I will lead, add A3 also. Since I add A1, A2, A3, I will add A4 also. And so on. So I will add all these edges in this choice of sequence also. I am talking about this choice of sequence. I will add all these edges. These edges. I must add all of these edges. So the b1 b2 up till my a1 a2 up till is a subset of my b1 b2 up till and similarly arguing in the reverse way i can say that b1 b2 up till is a subset of a1 a2 up till and combining both of these i can argue that a1 a2 up till is equal to the set b1 b2 up till so <clears throat> it doesn't matter in which order i add my edges but at last i will end up adding the same set of edges and hence i will get the same hamiltonian graph so i have proved that the hamiltonian graph obtained thus that is the hamiltonian closure is a unique graph Thank you friends.